Welcome back to Nest Watch. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a new nest attempt. A nest attempt is any nest with at least one egg present. You should create a new nest attempt in Nest Watch each time a pair begins a new clutch. To do that, we're going to start out on the tab that says Your Data after we've logged in. You'll see a map of all of your nest site locations. If you have many locations on your nest site, you can actually expand a nest site list to choose from among your options. In either case, you'll see an icon that says Add Attempt. This is how you would add a new nest attempt to a nest site. Go ahead and click on Add Attempt, and this brings you to the data entry page. The first thing to do is to set the species that you're monitoring. Just start typing a name and you'll be presented with a list of relevant options for your location. Go ahead and choose the correct option and you'll be given information about the average incubation period and the average brooding period. If you need to change the species, just click Edit Species and type a different species name. Once you've entered a little bit of information about the nest, we'll try to provide you with estimated events for this nest. But we can't do that until you've added some nest visits. So to add a nest visit, scroll down to this section called Add Nest Visit. You're going to enter information about the date and time that you visited the nest, the host species eggs and young, status and activity codes, cowbird activity, and any other relevant details. To do that, just click in the box and start filling in the information. To save time, I'll just show you one line and then we'll skip ahead. If you're not sure about any of the status or activity codes, just click on the question mark for a detailed explanation. Then you can choose the code that's appropriate for that nest visit. Now that we've finished entering all of the nest visits, it's important to scroll down and summarize the attempt, but you should only do this after all of the nesting visits have been entered. We're going to estimate the important dates like the first egg date, hatch date, and fledge date. If you're not sure how to estimate these dates, see our helpful FAQ article about estimating first egg, hatch, and fledge dates. When you're ready to enter those dates, just use this calendar system to choose the correct date. If you mess up, it's okay. Just click the clear button to start again. If you've noticed this directly in the field, you can click observed. Otherwise, it's okay to leave it as estimated, which means that you did not directly observe this event. Go ahead and enter the hatch date and the fledge date. Then tell us how many visits you made to the nest what the clutch size or number of eggs was, whether there were any unhatched eggs, and tell us about the number of live young and fledglings. You'll need to choose a nest fate, and then if you have any important comments about why the nest fledged or failed, enter those here. Any additional comments can be put in box four. save your data, and then check it over to make sure that you've entered everything correctly. When you're satisfied that your data are correct, go ahead and choose to end this attempt. You'll see that your nest map has been updated, and now you have another opportunity to add a new attempt. To see your old summary that you've entered, click View Site Summary and the nest that we just entered will be stored there for future reference. Back at the dashboard, you can now add a new nest site or enter a new attempt at the site we just completed. And that's it.